it's hard not to wax lyrical about crayons. They were invented in America in 1903, when a non-toxic version was created from the basic wax crayon already used for marking crates and barrels. We take a look at how colour is added to childhood. These crayons are made from a combination of waxes, primarily paraffin, which is ideal because it's inexpensive and easy to melt. It also has what's called a nice rub-off, meaning it leaves enough wax on the paper. The wax is melted to 62 degrees Celsius. Then a secret powder is added to strengthen the crayon and act as a filler, boosting the number of crayons the wax will produce. Various synthetic chemicals are also added. There's one to keep the wax from sticking to the mould, and a fatty acid called stearic acid to improve the rub-off. Now the wax is tinted. In this case, the addition of yellow and red produces orange crayons. This factory can produce 127 different colours. Every ingredient in the crayon is not toxic. After adding more wax, the mixture is blended for about 45 minutes. Now the wax is pumped into this device, called a rotary machine. It first injects the wax into crayon-shaped moulds. Then, it envelops the moulds in cool water, hardening the wax within 60 seconds. As the moulds continue along the circuit, a blade scrapes off the excess, which gets recycled. Just one rotary machine moulds more than 2,700 crayons per cycle. With several machines operating simultaneously, this factory churns out 30,000 crayons every hour. The machine ejects the crayons, and a conveyor transports them to the labelling machine. One by one, they drop into the grooves of a revolving drum. At the bottom left, glue coats the surface in between the grooves, just before the crayons go in. The machine then slaps a label onto each crayon. A roller presses the label against the adhesive. Then a small arm wraps it around the crayon. This machine labels eight and a half thousand crayons per hour. The crayons exit the labelling machine and land in a box. They're sorted according to colour into the appropriate hoppers of the packing machine. The packaging line is entirely automated. The factory programmes the machine to collect a certain number of crayons in specific colours, according to the type of pack in production. Their best sellers are packs of 16, and 24. The packing machine is designed to handle the crayons gently. Occasionally though, a crayon does crack or a label comes loose. When that happens, a sensor automatically stops the machine and a light goes on above the problem hopper. The jam is cleared, then production resumes. Once the count is complete, the crayon line and the box line meet. A pushing device slides each set of crayons into a box. A built-in scale weighs every box. Should one be underweight, the machine automatically blows it off the conveyor belt. Then the missing crayon is added manually, ensuring a full complement of colours for every budding artist. <laughs>